What's going on YouTube? It's DV and we're back in Block Tycoon. I think this is what, I don't even know how many videos I've done on this game, but we're probably like third, fourth, I don't know. I play the game a lot, okay? That's all I know. I've been playing this game so much lately that I'm finally digging into like pistons and sticky pistons. They're pretty cool. So what I'm talking about is these things, but um, that's not what we're gonna be covering today. You can see I'm on life four. I'm only on life four. I'm not very far in this game still. Only life four, but I'm still pretty far ahead of I think most beginners at least. But um, today we're gonna actually give me getting back into our mushroom farm. So you can see here, I've got a decent wheat farm. I don't bother with like, I did a little bit of the trees, just a little bit, but honestly, they're kind of worthless. And yeah, yeah, I've heard, I hear you. You can, you know, totally, you could totally do like, you know, all I got to do is buy the saw. I've got the saplings for free kind of format and make a really cool farm. Probably a better farm than honestly the, um, the cobblestone farms because look how, you know, cobblestone is just a big pain. I've seen a bunch of different builds. Honestly, no matter what kind of build you do for these, you have a, you're, you're, you're limited. You are absolutely absolutely limited by this. You could definitely save conveyor time, but ultimately if a furnace is not ready, you're not going to have your stuff sitting out there waiting, right? So, I mean, you can, but it just seems like this is a better approach. And uh, this one was pretty optimized, to be honest. We weren't really losing much and we got to um, a million pretty quick. And then I used this a little bit just to supplement because I was bored, but honestly, I probably wouldn't have done that if I do this again, which I will probably many, 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 many times, especially as a rebirth. So the next rebirth is going to cost me 266 more million. So it's like 400. It's basically... Um, um, it's like, it's like, I think when you're, it's like 400, I think it's a, it's basically a hundred million for each life you have. But, um, yeah, we're, what we're going to do here is I've got 136 million because this thing's awesome. You see, I've got this farm going, I've got the infusers going. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty optimized to be honest. I've got these two right here. So, you know, I don't have blocks waiting for very long. So you can see, I've just got it like that and it works pretty well. And, um, it's kind of like the cobblestone farm where this little diagonal just balances stuff. So I don't want blocks sitting out for, for, you know, for very long for risk of despawn, but you don't really need to you know, don't use two infusers. That's kind of dumb. I just did it because I was, you know, like I said, bored. Half the time you're bored, so you're going to do dumb stuff. And then I created a second farm here because I didn't I didn't want to... It's so boring to do towers. You have to admit, doing towers over and over and over, especially when you don't really have any despawn issues. Look at this. Look at the green bar here. I'm not getting anywhere near that limit. So I could probably do another stretch right here because we don't have furnaces. We don't have to deal with this stuff. That's why this farm is so much more optimized. You don't need to do the tower. It's definitely, you know, faster, but you don't really need to need to. But um, you could do something like this, you know, just buy another expansion. We can buy a bunch more of these and then expand it. And you know, I would do that. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to buy that farm. So I'm going to leave that space just for more of this if I want to do more of this for any reason. But pretty soon here, this mushroom farm is going to be like, it's going it's going to be going crazy. Like this is going to be dwarfed by the mushroom farm. I think my mushroom farm was doing like almost a million per second. Um, And I will show you, you know, should I show you? Nah, I won't show you that life. We're going to go and start it fresh. So let's go ahead and buy this mushroom farm. It's a hundred million and it gives you the this really ugly looking platform. Um, I don't really like it, but it is what we, you know, it is what it is. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to place it. I'll put it like just a little spaced away. We'll put it like right here and we're going to take this all apart. Yeah. We're not even going to, we're not going to worry about any of this. We're just going to take this all apart. Get all this out of here because I really don't like this design. And so I actually designed my own. That is just a bit better. I think it's just, it's all preference. Now I haven't watched anyone else's videos on how to do builds for this. It's just my build. I didn't really, like I said, I, I haven't really looked at any like mushroom farms. So there might be some really, really cool designs out there. Definitely explore some other YouTubers. Like I said, Diamond's a good YouTuber. I haven't really watched his new stuff, but I did watch his stuff for, um, I think it was like a cobblestone farm. It was pretty cool. Definitely knows his stuff. Jesse had some really good designs too. I don't know how many, you know, builds he's done. I don't know if he's done a, I'm sure he's done a mushroom build by now. Everyone's got to do a mushroom build, but I just, I didn't want to get inspired by anyone. I honestly just wanted to make my own and it might not be as good, but you know what? It's just, I, I that's just my preference. It's my, that's, that's my style. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a giant cave now. So um, first off, you know, we got to make sure we have our shape here. So essentially the um, mushroom farm, let me get, hold on. I got to get my soil. Actually, you know, I'll, I'll use stone. That's fine. So the mushroom farm is a, basically a three by three, just like a, um, any of the other crops. So you basically put the mushroom in the middle, but we're not going to do that yet because I want to lift this a bit. So I don't have to dig so deep. And then we're going to put the mushroom grass on top. So let's go ahead and move that. And we're going to put that right here. And then you can see we got two of these mushroom clusters because they do drop very similar to trees. They do drop saplings. Um, they're kind of like a sapling or like the seed. And what happens is this thing will spawn um, mushrooms all around it, right? So the one thing I didn't like about the other one is it had like two here. It was real weird. It was just, I, I don't know. I didn't like it. So we're going to basically um, rewire everything. So it's back to what it was, right? So it's like this. And then what we need to do is we need to get these um, these cutters or breakers and they need to be all surrounded here. So I need a ton of cobblestone. Thankfully, I have a ton of it already. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this up so I know which direction we're going to go. We're going to go this way. So 
they're gonna be like this. But here's the thing, right under this, we gotta do wires. So we're gonna take that out. So we're gonna place them first. And then this one's only gonna have one right there. And this one's gonna have one. And then we're gonna have three right here. Now the problem with the old build, which you're gonna see, um, actually we need three. Um, I'll show you the old build in a little bit. Cause you know, uh, or you can just rewind actually, just rewind to see the old build. But basically the old build was like two. It was real weird. It was just like, I don't know. I didn't really like it. This, seem, this seems a lot cleaner. And I'm gonna show you another thing shortly here that we're gonna do to make this even crazier. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stack this afterwards. So I need to get some wires going. So now the wires do require a platform. So you need to put another thing under here. So just put a, um, a block layer here. And this is where all of our wires are gonna go with our um, timer. And you could probably speed this up a bit so that it's not on a, you know, like you can use the observer. In fact, we might just do that. Let me see, Let's see if it'll reach. I haven't tried the observer approach, but I think it might actually work better. Let's go and get this cleared. All right, and this one should be cleared. And yeah, I think we could use observer. So why don't we just face two observers next to each other? So we'll just put these like this, and now it's gonna alternate, right? So that's working pretty good. And then let's wire it. There's our wire. So now it's gonna go real fast. This is actually gonna be way better than my original build. I used last life, because I like this better, much faster. Now I think this should reach. Yeah, it kind of works. Going fast enough? No, you know, I think the problem is this needs to be split right here. So we'll split this right here. Yeah, that seems a little faster, I think. I think the problem is it was connecting, it was kind of messing it up. So we'll just disconnect that. All right, so that is basically our layer and we're gonna layer a bunch more like this. So let's go ahead and get started on that. But I need to start making some money. So let's go ahead and um, let me upgrade my pickaxe real quick, 115, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and create an underground filtration system. Because as you can see, we got mushrooms falling all around this. So we're gonna basically create a drainage system here, kind of like a drainage system, but not quite. And I'm sure I can come up with a better design after this. After I keep doing this over and over, I'm gonna come up with, you know, I'll get bored. I'll make some new designs for you. It's fun. Why not? So just do a two two block area here. You don't even need to do that, but it's just a little easier for me to access stuff. And then I'm going to create a little entrance here just in advance because I know we're going to need it. It's a little Minecraft kind of feel to it. Yeah, we're creating like a little mine dungeon. All right. So you're going to need a ton of conveyors. We're just going to go and buy a bunch. I'm just going to buy like a couple hundred of these. I mean, I wish there was a better way to do these. Like, can you just give me a thousand of these? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So we're going to basically do this and get rid of that one. And then um, I'm going to be doing some corner ones in a second here. I, you don't really need to do it this degree because these things drop down, but because they bounce around a bit, like you can create funnels and stuff. I don't want to deal with any of that. This thing worked great. It looks cool. So you don't have to like worry about like super precise kind of like drops and such. I think this is cool. So I'm going to do this and then we just need to put a temporary block here so I can place the conveyor and then we can get rid of it because the conveyor can actually free float like that. Pretty cool. So we're going to go under it and we're going to step it down again, just like that. And can get these all out of here. Don't worry about the mushrooms. We'll sell those in a little bit. We're still making money, which is good because we're going to need some infusers, not infusers, um, compressors. You're going to need, I kid you not, you're going to need five compressors. It's crazy. They are a hundred million each. So you basically need to save another 500 million. Um, you don't need it to start making money, but you do need it to make even more money. All right. So let's go ahead and start these um, corner pieces here. We only have four. So let's go and buy some more of those. This is just a really fun game. It reminds me of the old school islands. So if you haven't watched my islands content, I've done so many builds in islands. It's unreal. Absolutely bonkers. Um, and so this game's just fun because it's just fresh for me. All right. So there's this and now we're going to go in a little bit more. It's just a, it's just a funnel. You kind of see what's going on here. We want the quickest path so that we don't have any despawn issues. We, I haven't really seen any despawn issues with this game. Like they allow a lot of items. It's pretty crazy. Okay. Let's go and drop down. Let's go and get these in. So one right there, one right there and one right here. And then the corners picking up all those mushrooms too. Oops. Kind of hard where they're pushing you. Okay. Okay. So now we got that. We're going to go and dig a little bit. Okay. So let's get our tunnel down. We got to go a lot deeper on this. We're going to reblock that because we don't want problems. We don't want any trouble. Okay. Um, let's lock that back up. There we go. All right. Now we go under. We should be pretty close to that. Okay. So it's like right here. I was close. I was close. Okay. I was close. That should work fine though. Let's just break that real quick. So let's break this one, reblock that and fix the conveyor. There we go. Okay. So now we need to go deeper on this, like so much further. So we have all the space we need. Just clear out a big area here. Doesn't take that long to be honest. Use an auto clicker if you can, because auto clicker will break this so much faster. Even if you have like a basic pickaxe, it's so much faster. By the way, yeah, I do a lot of variety content. I don't know that I'm going to ever dedicate this game on this channel. Um, I'll definitely, you know, play it a lot because I think it's a lot of fun. Um, if I did decide to regular this game, I'd probably put it on my main channel because it's so Minecraft-like. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I do. Um, but in any case, definitely check out JSCTC as well as um, Diamond. Shoot, did I? Yeah, I think, um, yeah, no, I'm, I think I'm good. Okay. Okay. So we need to funnel this. I don't really use glass because it just takes, I don't, I don't want to have to make it. Could, but okay. It drops down right here, right? Let's stick a conveyor here. And then what I'm going to do is I need to filter this. Um, and the weird thing about the filter, you're going to be a little like, DB, why'd you do that? Um, I'm going 
to do a dedicated filter for each mushroom. They're really cheap. Filters are really cheap. They're instantaneous. So you don't have to like wait for stuff. So there's no reason not to. And the reason why is we don't want to have a two, we don't want to have two sides to it. I originally did that where there were two sides to it and it's just really added travel time. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to get my filters out. I'm going to buy a bunch of filters. So just buy a bunch of these. Like six should be fine. I'm just going to buy seven so I have some more for later. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter out right here. Let me try to get behind this. There's one, oops, one, and then two, three, four, and five. That should be fine. And let's go and get a little bit of length here because this is where we're going to head. These compressors are really long. They're like two blocks long. So let's get this stuff out here. And this works really well if you have extra cell pads. If you don't, then rip, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we do need to fill. Actually, yeah, we need one more filter, I think. One, two, three, four. No, we should be fine because these are the five blocks. Yeah, we should be fine. And then because what we'll do right here will be the saplings. So we'll just come out right here. So let's get a chest. That way we can catch anything else that comes through. And now we need to get our mushrooms out. So let's get these. So there's our five. So let's go press F on that one. We're only going to do this side, like I said. We're not going to bother with these other sides because we only want it to come out this side. We don't want stuff to come out the other side. And so now what we need to do is we need to get some compressors. I can afford one compressor currently, but after I sell a bunch of stuff, I should be able to, you know, I should be able to buy some more. So let me, let me go get some stuff out real quick because I have a couple other cell pads being used. So I got one there, one there. How many do I have? I feel like I should have more. I thought I had more cell pads. Oh, you know, what? I think underground I'm using two over here. I'm being dumb. Oh, no, I'm using two right here. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. There you go. You're fine. I won't make that a straightaway. So that's one cell pad, which should be enough for what we need. I thought I put two in here, though. Did I put down? I thought I put two down there. Oh, well. In any case, we only need one over here anyway. So let's go back down here. See, it's looking pretty good. It's pretty fast still. And let's get a cell pad down here set up. What I'll do, at least for now, this is super temporary, at least for now, just so I can start making some money. Let's put these all right here, pointing towards this, and I'm going to sell all these. Wait, you know what? Actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and make a, um, we're going to make a compressor, a mushroom compressor right here, so we can convert at least one of these, because that's, we're throwing away money if we don't do that. So let's put a compressor out. Now, I do recommend for these, put a space with your um, conveyor, otherwise they start popping out kind of weird. So just put a space there. So I'm going to do something. Um, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm going to do. Let's get this one out, put the compressor here, and then we'll just make it turn back this way like that. Okay, so we got one compressor going. That is the purple one. Yeah, purple one. So we can feed the purple ones back in here. Let's just drop them all. And that should make us a bunch of money because see how it sells for so much more. So we're going to get like 100 billion or 100 million really quick. Oh, I dropped these, but they, they didn't all go through. Hold on. You got to make it some distance because it does take a little while. There's one. See, so yeah, they're going. You're going to see a ton of money coming through. We're doing almost a million per second right now. Almost. Pretty soon we're going to be making a lot more than that. Yeah, 84. Yeah, we're doing good money. All right, since I don't really want to have to wait, let's do at least the least one here. We'll do the blue because the next one's going to be yellow. So we can do all these. Do this one too. And we'll do green as well. Oh, green didn't want to go down. There's four. Okay, so we got another 100 so we can get another compressor. Buy another one of those. Where are you? There you are. So you do have to use filters with this because there are multiple types of mushrooms, as you can see. There we go. Let's spin this around like that. And this is yellow. So let's go ahead and feed the yellows. There's yellow. There's yellow. We should see a ton of yellow bricks coming out. Yep. Looks like it makes like a bunch of them. It makes like four at a time. Five? No, it makes six. Jeez, look at it. Look at it go. 14 million already. Yeah, we're, we're just rolling. So you can see some of these are falling out. So let's go ahead and fix that. Put some cobblestone there. What I should do is make another exit this way. Oh, this is the edge. I can put a ladder here and we'll buy some lamps too because we could use some light down here. All right, a little bit of light down here. That's a lot better. Let's go and get our ladder up. There we go. All right, ladder complete. So there's our mine entrance. There's another entrance here. All right, so let's go ahead and dump all these back down. And then um, once we get another 100 million, we're going to do another compressor. And that's how you basically feed it over and over and over. And you just keep making money. Now, um, the next step here is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you the next step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this right here, just a border around. And we're going to go one layer of wire. Actually, we can't do that yet. Sorry, get rid of the wire. Man, it would be nice to have like an upgraded version of a pickaxe. I know he's holding back. He's holding back, but I know he can do it. He could do this so easily. He's like, nah, we'll, we'll, we'll tease him for a bit. Let's do a uh, cobblestone just because it matches. So we don't need all of it. So we only need like, let's see, one, two, three, four. We'll just do it anyway. It's easy enough to break. All right. So now we need to buy a bunch of these, um, blo these block, bl bl I can't even speak. I can't even speak English right now. Block breakers. There we go. We're just going to buy a ton of these because we're, we know we're going to need a bunch of them. Just buy like 200 of them. At some point you're going to want, you, you want to be rich, right? Everyone wants to be rich in this game. So you're going to face these outwards and you're going to make sure the black um, exit here is facing the conveyors. And same for this one. Same for these. And yes, we will be layering this. We will totally 
totally be layering it. So next thing we need to do, we need to clear all this. Thankfully, Alana Fur and the devs make this real easy to clear. You don't actually have to move. Um, the one thing that I wish Islands had was more range like this, because this is a really nice range. Like you can build from really, really far. You can zoom out pretty well too. It's always nice when someone actually does something better than someone else, because then others can kind of get inspired by them. It's really cool. Like there's a lot of stuff from Islands in this game, you know? And um, there's a lot of stuff in this game that I wish Islands had. Now, I don't I don't think that, I think that it's going to get weak. The signal is going to get pretty weak after a while. So we might need to do this for each. I haven't done observers yet. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how this works out. But what I'm thinking is we put one right here or we break that, right? And then we put them right here. So we put two observers right there. There's one. And then here's the other. Let's see if it reaches. It's too weak. Oof, it's too weak. Okay, so let's just break this one. And then we'll have this part. We'll break this too. So all it does is that corner. And then we do this corner with the other observers. That's easy enough. They're really cheap too. So I don't really care. It's not like it harms anything having more. There we go. So you can see all of them are going and they're going pretty fast, which is really nice. This is way better than the repeaters I was using or the uh, timers rather. And so now what we need to do is we need some of this stuff. We need a lot of mushroom grass. So we need to head back down and clog this thing. <laughs> we, we legit need to clog this. It's, it's going to be unfortunate that we need to clog it, but we do. So let's go back down into the mines. How do I get back out of here? What did I do? No, there we go. All right. So what we need to do is we need to clog it after this. Um, oh, it's not down here. What am I thinking? It's this. Oh, I need to go back up. So let's go over to our farm right here. And instead of selling that, we need to put it in our inventory. So let's get another chest. We'll just send it straight to our inventory. So we don't have to sit here. There we go. So there's our mushroom grass. So we're going to go and start building with this. We already got a bunch of it. So let's just do a line here. Now, technically you want to do like six. I don't know why I did this many, but that's fine. It'll work out. It'll work out in the end. Don't worry. Okay. So let's put one right there all the way across. All right. Just for aesthetics, I just went ahead and extended this, but we don't really need to do that. So what we need to do now is for every three, okay, this is where the saplings can reach. Because remember, they can reach three across right here. They can also go from behind on this, but we're not going to worry about that. It is going to be a little wasteful on my part, but I don't really care about that. So I'm just going to set them up right here. This is, this is like I said, excessive, but I have no lack of these clusters. These mushroom clusters, you're going to keep getting over and over and over and over. So I'm just going to go every other like this, because again, it's going to be three. This one's going to do three, and this one's going to do three. Um, I did try a lineup of these. It didn't look like it worked. So like if you try to do something like this in hopes that it's going to go faster. When I did my test, we'll try it again real quick. In my test, it didn't seem like it went faster at all. It seemed like, if anything, it caused more issues. So let's check. No, no, I mean, it, look, it looks pretty good. It's going pretty fast. Maybe I just didn't give it enough time last time. I don't know. We don't want that right there anyway. Let's get rid of that. Actually, we could put one right here. I mean, why not? We could put one right here. Doesn't hurt. Put one right there, right on top of the observer. Yeah, it's not too bad. We could do that. Sure. All right, all of them are hooked up. Let's go and get our mushroom grass back. There we go. Put one right there. Okay, that's already growing. This one's not. So let's go and get that out and put this here. And so you don't have stuff growing on the sides. Just make sure you take these out because it's going to it's gonna place them right here. So this one should be right here. And then we can put one. We'll put them across here too. The, the only reason why I did this design, by the way, is you can see it just expands out really nicely and easily. So like this was a really easy build for me. You get so many of these so quickly and they're so cheap. Like it's basically free, except for some of the supplies and such. Pretty much free. All right. So we'll put one right here, pull one right there, and we'll put one right here for now. There's a couple more and then we'll wait for some more. Okay. So these are popping out a little bit. I wonder where they're popping out at. Something's dropping kind of weird. I don't know what that was. Don't like seeing that. I'm just going to put a block right here. Okay. All right. We got those extras. So let's go ahead and break these real quick and replace those. All right. So we should be making a lot more money now. Let's go ahead and um, do a double check real quick to break this because we'll, we'll never have stuff on these corners. It was more for aesthetics. I mean, we can leave these up. That way, you know how this is going to work. See how it's two blocks here that are unused and two blocks there. And there's two blocks here. All right. Looking good. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad that this is even existing. Like it feels like something like this, just a giant row of them would be more effective. But the only reason why I like this is you can go a tower. You can take a tower approach without adding any more conveyors. Um, and in my other build, it's doing really, really, really well. But I think this one's a little bit better. This one's looking a lot faster and smoother than just my last build alone. So now we need to expand it. And so what I needed to do is I went up one and then I did another one for the layer. Um, and I believe what I had to do here, because we have the wires too. I think I just did another layer on top right here. And then we'll put these across. Just do this. Just do a frame. Put your wires down. Not your wires. Sorry. Your um, your breakers. So it's going to be three. It's just going to be identical to below. Now, in my build earlier, I didn't really have any issues of stuff bouncing out. And I don't imagine that's going to happen for two layers, but it might. It might. Okay. So just keep an eye on that. What I'll probably do is do another layer and kind of funnel this inside. Maybe even glass. I, I just haven't really done any glass. So you can do something like this. Just wall it in. There we go. I'm sure that's going to add a lot of lag, but that's okay. I can always shut off my wheat farm soon. So we've got this. Um, we can basically, what I was saying earlier is we could just kind of funnel everything. So if it's going to bounce around, it won't matter. And we'll do just another 
another one just because we can shortly here and we need the cables under it so yeah this will be fine let's just wall this in anyway and then we're gonna break this bottom part because we need to do the wires again let's put our wires down we're gonna do just the corners so this one will end right here I think that'll work yeah and then this one's gonna end over here and then we need to put our observers down basically repeating what we did already and that should do it so you can see it's working already now what we need to do is put the mushroom grass in so we'll just put it right there boom boom and then just put one of these in look at i already have 39 of these we're making so much and this is already growing and it's gonna start dropping it might shoot it out too far but it looks like it's dropping straight down so we might be okay and of course we do the same thing as before we can also um just add a little bit of cobblestone in my out no i've got plenty here cool you can add a little bit of that here on each side so it gives it some structure looks cool from a distance too you can add um blocks to any i would actually do this make sure you do it just put some blocks wherever you don't have anything at so like if you have wires it should be okay but if there are any areas that are gaps or open your crops can kind of get stuck in them so at least there should be something at least in there that bounces it back out and then same goes for this so essentially what we could do here we can do the same thing um we can't do wire on top of this we do we need to do wire on top of this so that means the um axes need to be right above right so if we want to do another layer of this we just need to put blocks all around same format um but before i finish this part we're gonna head back downstairs real quick and we're gonna put a couple more um com compressors in because we're missing out on money right now we're missing out on a lot of money in fact so let's go back down here let's get a couple more of these out oh it looks like stuff's been falling out too somehow i wonder where that's from it's probably just weird conveyor stuff so we'll fix that in a sec probably just getting off the conveyor though so let's buy our three we're gonna buy three of them because i think that's all we should be needing two three let's get this moved out and what's nice about this is these can get moved too so then we put all of this stuff here so these can go to a cell pad at the end real clean there's that cell pad and then we're gonna put these compressors there they are they're already it's already working my money's gonna start exploding now all right so let's go back up we're gonna dump all the stuff we have just a shortcut okay i just reset just as a shortcut um i just dump all these let's hop, hop up here real quick i'll just dump them through here that way everything goes into the right channels full cool. so there's blue yellow red green no go back down there we go okay we almost already have another 100 million look at that that is crazy we almost have another 100 million already look how fast we're making millions now this is definitely a billion plus mushroom build so like there's nothing else i can really do other than rebirth so we'll be able to rebirth pretty soon here you look at it, it's just going it's flying um but yeah there's the, we're kind of at in game right now just keep rebirthing at this point and rebirthing just gives you like another extra I think it's like five percent it's pretty crazy but i want to finish this for you real quick so just in case you're getting inspired and want to see this again and how to layer this what you're going to do is you're going to put all of these just like we had it or the previous layers just leave the corners for now leave those for last you're going to face the breakers out outwards we're going to copy the next bottom layer here so this one's pointing out this way we just want it all uniform. This one's coming out this way and this one's coming out this way. Now we come back down. If you recall, we break all this because our wiring is going to go under here. And to my knowledge, you can just keep making this as tall as you want as long as you don't hit those despawns. This one does have a chance to start hitting despawns, but it's not going to be quite as bad as cobblestone. The problem with cobblestone is you have to go through through so many furnaces and processors. That cobblestone is really an awful build. It's so slow. It creates a lot of despawn. This thing you can go like massive on. You can really have fun with it. I might try some other builds, like I said, though. Like I'd be curious to see like a really, really long one that goes across but it with that kind of build you need a lot of cell pads or else you're gonna have a lot of travel you're gonna need a lot of conveyors you're gonna need a lot of filters you're gonna need a lot of compressors and you can still do it but it's just gonna be a very expensive build okay so the way i did the last one is i split it if you recall so we're gonna have some observers here and this just goes all the way down and i recall connecting all these corners regardless and then right here this is gonna be where the next observers are we'll put them on this side and it was like that and let's get our four observers out there's one repeater and next one's right here boom look at that they're ready to go they're like where's our mushroom block hold on chill i'm working on it okay i'm getting it for you so we're just gonna go all the way across just like these we're gonna put these we're just copying the bottom layer so we know exactly what we need to do now you didn't have to know what you're doing just copy it just copy the previous layer easy easy peasy all right now we gotta place the clusters i'll call them saplings but they're not saplings okay that's for trees i just like calling them because i hate the, all the different names for things okay you know they're clusters all right there's that and one more look at our money it's going so so fast all right they're all planted check it out see how fast it's flying down there let me hop up look at that it's just dropping it reminds me of the old islands days man this is so cool seeing these farms all right so let's go underground real quick actually we don't need to do that let's just go feed these at the top here we'll just drop them all so we're pretty much gonna hit a billion shortly here pretty nuts but in any case now you know how to build a multi-level mushroom farm this one's pretty cool very simple i'm pleased with it i don't think there's that much like that i really need to do with it it's just making so much money that i'm gonna have billions more than I really even need in the game. Um, and this is just a matter of minutes right now. You can see it's just flying. Look at that. Right as I tell you that, it like pauses. Yeah, it's like about, I'd say like,
like anywhere between 500,000 to 2 million per second. It fluctuates depending on like processes because it has to go through stuff. Um, you know, the compressor takes a little bit of time. So it's still making anywhere between, like they said, 500K to 2 million a second. Just depends. So you see it's flying right now. Almost a half a billion already. But that's going to be it for me. Let me know what you'd like to see if you have any um, questions on builds. Um, I think in the next video I want to do is a more complicated build as far as like maybe some really efficient builds too for some of these earlier ones because I'd like to build a build more efficient cobblestone farms. All the builds that I've seen so far are okay, um, but I think the key might be cutting out some of these instead of doing this. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. I'll, I'll try to find the most optimal farm. This is how I do it. That's how I roll. If you've seen my like cry iron farms and islands, you know I will experiment until I find the best path. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in the next vid. Peace.